This is the Kansas Television Network. And now, TV 10 News with Jack Hicks, meteorologist Jim Arano, Bill Land, and the sports, and Cindy Martin with Action News. Now, here's TV 10 News and Jack Hicks. Good evening. Good evening. This is Cape News with Rose Daniel okay, and Larry Hatterberg. Now the control room becomes a pressure cooker. Three, then two key rows. Doppler radar weather with Jim O'Donnell. And sports with Mark Allen. Stand by. Mistakes made here, you see at home. Now, from Wichita's all-time favorite station for news. Hi, Cam, is that? This is the 6 o'clock edition. And is all 3Q? Good evening, and thanks for joining us. With a the fire in Pratt this morning destroyed a good part of that city's history. You're watching today's Cape. Now, coverage you count on. This is Cape News 10 at 10. Despite a record year for murders, the numbers say 1993 was a safer year than most of us thought. Good evening. We all watched as 1993 ended with 57 homicides in Wichita, but overall, the number of violent crimes went down last year. Now, from Cape News 10, this is Live at 10. O.J. Simpson returns to his jail cell on this, the longest night of his life. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. 13 hours and counting until the former football star learns his fate. Covering Kansas at daybreak, this is Good Morning Kansas. Good morning, Kansas. It's 5 o'clock on this Thursday morning, the 22nd of March. Covering Kansas at 6, Cake News on your side starts now. The threat of war leads to heightened security in Wichita and around the country. Good evening, everyone. More on that story in just a minute. But first, we do have some breaking news. Covering Kansas at 10. Cape News on your side starts now. Tonight, teachers and parents learn a Wichita school will be closing its doors. But first, state lawmakers are sitting on millions of dollars that could help unemployed Kansans. That's our lead story tonight at 10. If you think the state should do more to help laid off workers, you won't believe this. This is Cake News on your side. Gang violence peppers Wichita's streets with gunshots. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jamel Holliperry. And I'm Larry Hatterberg. Mike Ewan is on assignment. I'll be filling in for the first week of Cake News at 1130. Topping our news. Honored with an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Newscast. This is Cake News at 6. Good evening. We have an update on breaking news. We first brought you at 5 o'clock. This is Cake News, Station of the Year. Good evening to you. I'm Beth Jett. Tonight's... This is Cake News. You're watching Cake Land. This is Cake News. Passengers on a JetBlue flight are safe after an emergency slide inflates in the cabin. You're watching Cake Land. This is Cake News. A Wichita Airport employee in federal custody today after a plot to blow up mid-continent. From Cake Land, this is Emmy Award-winning Cake News. This is a Cake News breaking news alert. Good evening, everyone. Four male Goddard High School students are in custody tonight. Now, live from the Cake Studios, this is Cake News on your side at 11. Now, live from the Cake Studios, this is Cake News on your side at 6. Drones will take flight over campus as part of a federal test program. Now, live from the Cake Studios, this is Cake News on your side at 10. 
Ten years ago today, a town a little more than 100 miles west of Wichita would be thrown into the national spotlight. This is from the National Weather Service in Dodge City. They have issued a tornado emergency. Now live from the Cake Studios, this is Cake News on your side at 10. Tonight, flames shoot from an asphalt company in Augusta. What's on fire and the tremendous battle. KAKE TV 10, Wichita.